And to know more about the Global Cyber Security Forum, we have We Protect Global Alliance Executive Director Ian Drenan joining us from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Hi, Ian. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Hello. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me. Yes. All right, Ian. So can you tell us how does the Global Cyber Security Forum tackle the changing challenges and threats related to online child safety these days? So I, th I think it's really important uh, that child um, online protection is, is a big part of gatherings like the Global Cybersecurity Forum, because I think cybersecurity in the past has been very focused on systems, on technology, but actually um, a really important element is the users, the people who are using technology. And what we want to do is to put um, a, a particular focus on children as one of the most vulnerable users of, uh, of the digital world. See, Ian, and nowadays we use AI and it has a significant impact on cybersecurity. How are they being utilized to strengthen cyber, cyber defenses so far and detect online threats, specifically concerning child sexual abuse materials? So, so I think AI is one of the new technologies that we've seen really explode over the past um, couple of years. And I think that that raises some concerns, but it also raises some opportunities. Um, so first of all, in terms of concerns, we're already seeing um, offenders, abusers using um, AI to create child sexual abuse material and also using it to make it easier for them to commit abuse. So making it easier for them to groom children or circumvent um, safety measures. But I think also there are opportunities in terms of um, using AI to moderate um, platforms, but also for law enforcement um, to be able to identify suspicious behaviors and being able to take action. So I think it's very much a two-edged sword um, and it's really important that companies who are developing AI solutions um, think about child safety while they're designing them and, uh, and before they go to market. I see. And how long has We Protect used AI to promote Global Alliance security and the safety of children? So I think we've been um, we've been aware of developments in AI for for a long time. We've been collaborating um, with uh, players like um, the, the the UN um, in terms of uh, in terms of looking at solutions uh, that can be that can be provided to law enforcement um, in terms of AI tools. Um, so there are some really exciting projects that are that are underway within the UN and supported by the likes of, uh, of the UAE um, in terms of getting those, um, those out to, um, to users. Um, but I think AI, it's, it's still early days in terms of how it's, um, how it's going to impact on, on the way that children use the internet. Um, but what we've seen is that whenever there's new technology that comes in, um, criminals will, will look to exploit it. Um, so we just need to be very careful that um, when, uh, when, when AI services come to market, um, that they're designed with child safety in mind. All right, Ian. And uh, do we protect Global Alliance recently unveiled the 2023 Global Threat Assessment? Could you highlight some of key findings? Yes, this, was, uh, this is our biannual um, uh, assessment of the scale and nature of the threat from uh, child sexual abuse. And, and what we find is that um, the scale um, of, uh, of the threat has increased dramatically. Um, we've also seen it diversify. So we've seen an explosion in the, the rates of uh, financial um, sexually, sexual extortion. So particularly targeting adolescent boys where they are tricked into um, providing um, intimate images of themselves that, that is then used to blackmail them um, for financial gain. Um, the FBI said that has increased by 7,200%, which is absolutely stunning. Um, what we've also found is that um, children's perceptions of where the risks are um, aren't really um, matched on to what we're seeing in evidence. So children still believe that um, the greatest risk is posed by strangers, when actually we find that 60% of cases 
um, it's actually someone known to the child. So uh, someone who they trust or even a family member. So um, they use familiar faces to trick children's safety. Are there innovative AI-driven cybersecurity solutions or best practice that you have used so far aimed at shielding children from online gender-based violence? So I think there's, there's a, a huge uh, number of links and connections with gender-based violence. And we think uh, we find the vast majority of uh, offenders are male. Um, we're also seeing that um, the, the, the majority of victims that we see um, are, are girls. So I think there's a need for um, tailored responses uh, for that. Um, we're also seeing, um, however, that uh, boys are being targeted in um, specific ways. So for example, this financially uh, uh, motivated extortion um, that tends to be targeted at adolescent boys. Um, the other thing we've seen is that um, uh, women, where women do commit abuse, um, it tends to be that financially motivated, um, for example, live streaming that we see quite a lot in um, in, in the Southeast Asian region as a, as a particular concern. Um, so, so this is all um, connected, um, and I think we need to be developing a response that takes all of these factors into account. So much, Ian, for your information. Last but not least, what advice or guidance do you offer parents or adults to shield children from online abuse or bullying? So I think the, the, the best advice I could give is to talk to your child about their online lives. So I've, uh, I've got two daughters myself, uh, they're seven and nine. Um, and I think for me to be able to understand what's going on in their digital life, um, so what are the games that they like to play? What are the services they like to use? Um, and taking an interest in that and looking um, to research where are the, the, the safety settings. And, and a lot of companies have, have really upgraded um, the, the default settings for children. Um, so taking advantage of that. But I think having that dialogue with, uh, with children is so important for parents. So that, it, that when, if something does go wrong, that children feel that they can trust their parents and that they can talk to them um, without blame or judgment. All right, Ian. As a mother myself, I can totally relate with you. Thank you so much, Ian, for your time. <laughs> Thank you so much for the...